Hello, lovely people. It's Hila here, Saturday Night Decision. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope that you're having a fantastic day wherever you are. Uh, so today it's a fabric haul video. So first of all, thank you so much, everybody who uh, commented in the last such type of a video wherein I tried something different and I actually recorded the bits of the fabric as they came. And then I just sort of like pieced them together at the end of the month. And then I put it out as one long video and thank you so much for all of the lovely compliments i'm glad that you enjoyed it as much as i enjoyed it and it's always nice when things line up like that so i'm gonna be doing the fabric haul videos like that from now on plus it also gives me an opportunity to show you how i wear my me made clothes on a day-to-day -day basis because sometimes i don't know when the mail is going to be coming sometimes it comes on cleaning day sometimes it comes on other days so today it's um we're on Wednesday, the 14th um, of July. I've done quite well in terms of buying fabric. Um, this is the first batch of fabric <laughs> that I have received this month, and that's the 14th, so halfway through. So that's kind of a little bit of a pro of progress, but this is from uh, Pounds Fabrics. So it's quite a nice chunk of chunk. It's quite nice and heavy. And this is from Pounds Fabrics. And my friend, it is Josie, is the one that had tipped me off to the fact that they had a sale. And I had a look on it. And to be honest with you, we just come back from our camping trip from the Lake District. And also, so we went camping to the Lake District. And then immediately after that, we were celebrating my in-laws' uh, 50th wedding anniversary. And there was a lot of stuff involved with that, including a hot air balloon, which we bought for them so that they could have a memorable, um, no, not actually a hot air balloon, <laughs> a hot air balloon ride um, over Ilkley Moor, which was amazing. I had the privilege of taking them there at sunrise. So we had to leave it around um, 5 a.m., but it was absolutely gorgeous. And we were really lucky with the weather and we got to see them uh, floating off and all that. So we had a lot of, we had a lot of stuff and celebrating my father-in-law's birthday. And we went over to Hull as well for that and rented a, a caravan and we just spent time as a family there. And so by the time we came back, I was absolutely exhausted because I'm always the person that's in charge of, you know, making sure that everything goes smoothly. And I love that sort of thing. I'm not even complaining. My uh, major was always operations management. So I'm very good at like, you know, putting things here. I'm a doer, you know, like I'm so great at getting things done and planning things and, you know, planning for all sorts of contingencies. I, I like that. But I was quite um, tired and also doing the decamping process. And I was just a little bit like, I'm not going to be able to sew. I'm not going to be able to sew. And one of the things that I do is I displace when I don't have the time to actually sew, I displace that by either buying patterns or fabrics um or things like that so that's how i ended up buying this because I, I just ended up scrolling and i was just adding and i was adding and it made me feel like i was sewing even though i wasn't actually sewing i haven't actually been able to get into the cave uh the only thing that i did do was um on sunday this past sunday i finished off these dresses in fact let me show them to you they we're upstairs now because i had to come upstairs for them um but i made this uh cute uh kichiku lady skater um girls dresses and this is a pink cotton jersey that i got from fabrics for all and this is a red trim red ribbing that i also got from fabrics for all and i used it on the neckline and on the this and so i had to make um two of them obviously for my twins and this pattern is amazing it is a banging banging pattern i've used it every single size so they do a a, a girl's size which goes from i think six months to about eight years old and this is the eight year old size because they're seven years old actually so i've made these finally and this was a promised garment from december because my daughter she drew a sketch out of what she wanted me to make for them and we went and we bought the fabric but i just didn't get around to it and so they were complaining about the fact that i hadn't made them the dresses so i was just like okay fine i'm gonna do it i'm gonna get it done and you know tick off that which i owe because i don't like it when that's like that 
So this is the only sewing that I've managed to do. And this was super quick to make up because it's mostly all done on the overlocker. Everything is on the overlocker except for the hemming, uh, which I used on the sewing machine. And I used my three step zigzag. So those are done. They're very happy with them. Uh, and that's the only sewing that I've been able to do because uh, there's just been a lot of stuff going on and we've had to upgrade our tent because our last tent was just way too small and so we're currently weathering the tent outside on the garden and then also trying to keep up with the garden so I was just a little bit like I can't so um <laughs> anyway enough about all of that oh by the way this is from Berda 2 2021 it was one of my plants so he makes it it's in a Liberty Tana lawn um <laughs> and I'm wearing it with a La Maison Victor pants. I can't remember what they were, but they're one of two things that I ever sold from my La Maison Victor. But yeah, this is a nice little uh, top. The color, I love the pink color. I love the little puffy sleeve uh, detail. I'm not too sure about this, though. I feel like I probably... I feel like it would look probably a bit better on me if I was to put an elastic through that and just make it more fitted over there, which would suit my soft gamine lines. But it is a very comfortable. I actually recorded, I recorded a sew along for this and I just, I just have to have the time to edit it together because recording, when it comes to actually creating content, the recording stuff, the recording bit is the easiest. It's the editing that actually takes way longer. So to edit like a 10 minute video, it takes like maybe a couple of hours or something like that. Um, at least certainly for me, it does. So it's just about making that time, but hopefully there'll be time soon. But anyway, you came here for the fabrics. Let's have a look at the fabrics. <laughs> Back downstairs now. Let it not be said that you don't get exercise where you're showing sure off fabrics. <laughs> but here we go. So it's quite a hefty chunk because, as you know, when you buy from Pounds Fabrics, they've got minimum order values. So for some of them, it was three meters. Uh, for some of them, it was two meters. So we got them. Now, the last time that I ordered from Pounds Fabrics, it was a bit of a mixed bag for me. And I honestly hadn't gotten anything from there i think it's been about two years now but on the strength of um uh, joe's recommendation i was like yeah no i'll check it out plus you know i just felt like buying stuff ah, i'll be honest with you i've nearly forgotten what i bought um because it was such a you know a, a quick flyby thing but yeah, we've got um, a decent set of uh, fabrics here. Let's start off with the one that's catching my eye the most, obviously, immediately. Uh, wow, this is pretty cool. This is an improvement from last time. So they actually have a printed out receipt that's got a picture of the fabric a description of the fabric how much it costs and how many meters you got that is a great innovation i think that that is pretty banging that is really really good so i can actually read straight away that this is a pink and white gingham woven fabric now obviously it had me at pink um yeah in case you can't see i'm going through a pink phase um at the moment uh, but the way my hair is like a failed roller set i put my hair in rollers and it just got freezy really quickly because that's english weather for you but <laughs> okay so here we go oh look at that oh so cool it's like a really fresh sprightly pink as well like really really fresh hang on i'm just gonna see if i can move to somewhere with better lighting i think that this is better I, I think it might be a little bit better, but here we go. Yeah, I mean, I can't really see because it's so bright, but here we go. Oh, 
No, no, that's me, you duck. Oh. Oh gosh, whatever. <laughs> but yeah, so it's quite quite thick though. It's not a it's not a lightweight fabric. Um I know it does say stretch. Oh ah right. So this is one of those fabrics that doesn't have stretch on the cross grain, but it's got the stretch along the straight grain. So if you were to say make a pencil skirt that you want it to be a bit on the snug side, you could do that. Oh well, look, this sort of matches. Um, but yeah, there's two pounds per meter. So yeah, not too bad. Uh, the idea is obviously to make some pink dresses, pink tops, pink skirts, pink trousers, pink everything really. It's pink, 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 pink. <laughs> But I love it and there's so much of it. So yeah, um, it's a bit more heavyweight. It is a little bit more heavyweight. Um, so not quite light and sprightly, uh, despite the color. You could, you could make a jacket out of this as well. This is jacket weight, definitely. Okay, and uh, the next one, prepare yourselves for some more pink. <laughs> it's a pink lace. What are you called? Dutch floral lace fabric cerise. This one was one pound fifty uh, per meter, and my oh snap! I actually forgot to check how wide it was. It's actually quite narrow, um, and for some reason, I actually thought that it was much wider. But I feel like this sort of fabric is very useful for uh, doing like little contrasting beads for adding detail. So going forward with my sewing, I want to add more detail, whether that means like doing a, a yoke in a contrasting lace uh, panel or adding an, a lace overlay along a neckline or something like that. So I thought that this would be useful to have. But it's reasonably decent. It looks quite well um, made. Like it doesn't have any bits of fluff, uh, stray yarn threads sticking out. Um, yeah, so Dutch floral lace over here. Okay, ooh. <laughs> the next one is blue leopard spots on purple cotton poplin a fabric so here we go here we go <laughs> i love this i love it look at that i have no idea what i'm gonna make with these by the way no idea at all with this one I, I can't I know that whatever I do with it I'm probably because the leopard spots they've got the blue and the black I'll probably have uh, contrasting trims in the blue and the black so if say if it if this ends up being a shirt dress for example the collar would be black with the button placket being black and cuffs being black you know you get the idea using contrasting prints but this is actually it feels really quite nice as well it feels quite nice it's got lovely drape i like it i approve <laughs> okay the next one is a Multicolored striped rose border print polyester fabric. So this is a polyester fabric. And what I liked about it was the fact that it's got the stripe, yeah? And then it's got a border print, which is so Cat Kidston. And um, I used to really like the Cat Kidston shabby chic style. And in fact, I have a skirt that I made out of the Cat Kidston fabric. But this caught my interest because it's a border print. See? Can you see? Um, and so you can see how you've got that lace print and then you've got some polka dots. And so I looked at it 
the colors are not quite as popping as I normally would like, but I was thinking that I'll also make dresses for my uh, girls as well as something for me that plays around with this stripe. I don't know. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it is a polyester, so I'd probably be looking at making a skirt. Yeah, and making a skirt out of it rather more, more so than I would um, a dress because then I'd be able to wear it with a linen or a cotton top and so I wouldn't have the issue of the... Because polyester in warmer weather, I find that it can be very close and I do a warm up. I don't mind polyester so much actually because in winter I'm so cold and tolerant. I actually like fabrics that are like a shield on me and they don't allow my body heat to escape at all. Um, but yeah, I thought that this was a very quirky um, different fabric with a border print. Very excited to see what I can make out of that. The next thing is a little bit of a wild card actually. So this is gingham by straight stretch fabric in navy and white. And I got three meters. It's had a minimum order of three meters. So it feels like a suiting fabric. If you ever, you know, that sort of like springy uh, suiting fabric that's quite crease resistant and it will, it's not particularly great for gathering because it doesn't do gathers really well because it's very rounded. It, 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 whenever you try to add volume to it, you will get volume that is rounded. And if you want to do pleats with it, you have to sew the pleats down. Otherwise, they'll remain very rounded, if that makes sense. So I got this. I honestly had no idea now what I was thinking when I got this. I'm really struck. I'm like, searching my brain right now and I'm struggling to remember what the thought process was behind this particular purchase. Um, but yeah, this one was, um, it was two pounds per meter and I got three meters uh, of it. So we'll have to see what I can make with it. So really, I'm going to have to put a headband on. I was trying a different hairstyle, but it constantly getting into my eyes. Let's see if we can tuck it behind the ears. Um, so here we go. Huh. I don't know, what would you make with this? It's navy blue and white. I'm not sure how well it's coming through. I can't see what's going on with the screen there because the window is behind me and all the bright light. Well, what would you make with a gingham like this? What, what, what would it be? I don't know, could it be a skirt? Trousers, maybe. Or I could play around with the, I don't know. We'll, we'll have to see, we'll have to see. So those are the fabrics that I got from Pounds Fabrics um, during their sale. And yeah, we'll have to see um, if we're going to be getting any more fabrics as the month That's goes the view on. view from outside my window at the moment because this is the tent that we are weathering. Okay, so I'm in the tent because I just wanted to show you the other sewing project that I have to do. So our tent, um, this is our newer tent tent to accommodate the growing family and this is supposed to be our forever tent fingers crossed because technically speaking it should fit the children right up until they become uh, grown-ups and adults but it's got a tent carpet which is all well and nice for the main area but for the bedrooms here there is no tent carpet um yeah so there's no tent carpet and it's <laughs> I've always found it uncomfortable when we've gone camping and it's been straight onto the ground. And especially when we go camping in the UK where um, during the night, the temperatures get really chilly and just an added layer of insulation between the ground, between the tent floor 
and the mattresses would have been appreciated. So I've decided that I'm actually going to make the tent carpets for the tent bedrooms. Normally you don't tend to find them, you tend to just find the tent carpets for the main living areas. So what I've done is I have ordered another one of these ones here, the tent carpet for the main living area. And I'm just going to cut that up and bind the edges according to the measurements for the different bedrooms. So this tent has got four bedrooms. There's another one um, over there. And so that's another sewing thing that I have to get done this month before we go on our next camping trip, which is going to be to Scotland around the Isle of Mull. So not quite the stomping grounds of Jamie Fraser, I'm afraid. My husband said no, nay, never. Um, but we are going to be checking out the Isle of Mull. But I will wear him down and one day I will make a pilgrimage to all of those places in Outlander. <laughs> Flower of the month, sweet peas. So this is another flower of the month for me. I love these. And these pots of marigolds. Hi, it's more fabric. I'm so excited. I've got two fabric packages today. It's uh, it's the 20th of July today. Glorious weather. Let me tell you, we've been having such fantastic weather and I've been spending a lot of time outdoors, got a lot of tan lines, but hey, I am happy. And the weather has been so great. I've been able to wear a lot of my cotton lawn dresses, which is such a comfortable fabric to wear, um, especially when it's very hot. It doesn't uh, get sticky or anything like that. Uh, this is a Liberty Tan Lawn dress. And I love this dress so much. You guys, look at that. It's um, Breda 7... 2016 and it's a pattern that I'd had traced out for years. I traced the pattern out uh, as soon as I got the magazine but I just hadn't got around to sewing it but I sewed it up and I wore it immediately the next day on Sunday and today it's Tuesday because I actually finished it this past weekend and I just I want to wear it all the time. I love it so much. I love it. Um, so it's a um, it's obviously it's vintage style it's a 1950s vintage style which i'm really really loving um i love the neckline so you can't really see it but it's actually got a princess seam line here and it's got a dior dart i'm gonna put the line drawing over there so that you can see but love it love it and the actual pattern it's supposed to be uh, deep pleats on the skirt but I didn't do that. I just gathered the square panel. So the skirt portion is a dindle. And I lined it with um, some Cupro lining. So it feels so lovely and soft over here. I have to wear it with a uh, strapless bra, basically, because this, um, these are so quite narrow. So when I was trying to wear it with a normal bra, even though you couldn't see the cups, the straps were showing. And one thing that I've been trying to do this year <laughs> is to just be mindful of not showing my bra straps because I've realized that I personally don't like it when I see my bra straps. So I love it. And so it's really lovely uh, thingy at the back. And I'm wearing it with a pink belt. The other day on Sunday, I was wearing it with like a navy uh, belt, but I love it. I love it. And what I really like about this is it's so, 
it felt like when I put it on for the first time, this vision in my head of how I see myself aligned with what I was seeing in the mirror. And it was just such a wonderful moment. So I want to make another one and then I want to make another one and then I want to make another one because it's so comfortable. And this is a straight up size 38, no alterations, nothing. And that's why I love, love sewing with Brita so much. I'm so lucky that I can fit into their draft without any alterations. And you know, how awesome is it that I can just get this fit without any changes. And that's why I tend to prefer to sew with Birder a lot because it does take out the work of fitting for me, but yeah, <laughs> happy, happy bunny. Okay, so we're here for fabric. Okay, enough of that excitement there. Okay, so I'm gonna start off with this one. I think I know what this is. Yeah, so this is from Olive and Flo Handcraft. And they have this uh, fabric that I really wanted because it's like a peacock color. And look, oh, how cute is that? It's got a little sticker. Um, they're UK based, but oh, how sweet. It's like a little handwritten note. It's lovely. Dear Hila, many thanks for your lovely order. I hope you enjoy creating with your gorgeous fabric. Oh, that's lovely. That's really, really very nice. I do like small, um, small uh, fabric boutiques for that. But here is this fabric. I saw this fabric when I was just browsing uh, the Pinterest, which I shouldn't be doing, by the way. I had sworn off of Pinterest. That's my oldest son, <laughs> who uh, finishes GCSEs, and so he's heading out to the gym now. But here we go. I love this fabric. I saw it on Pinterest and I was like, I need to get this. Now this is um, Ruby Star Designs or Ruby something or the other designs, I can't remember. The links will be in the description box down below. This was sold not by the meter, but by the 60 centimeter. And that's because it's uh, obviously got a border print. <laughs> but oh how gorgeous is that so it's sold by the repeat of um, the border print over there so I'm trying to show you the full effect of it and it's got these really lovely little stars um but i obviously loved the bright popping pinks and the teals and the lighter pink said it's just really gorgeous and the idea is i might probably make this dress but using this fabric and if you imagine the border print at the bottom and i would just have this stars thingy being the one that's at the top <laughs> i just think it's going to be so gorgeous so it is a quilting cotton so it will have a lot more um heft to it so it should create a more fluffier fluffier skirt because right now the tunnel lawn you know it's nice it's decent and oh sorry to come back to this dress but i love this dress every time i'm coming down the stairs it catches the wind in it and it sort of it billows up and it just looks it makes it look like i'm wearing a petticoat so i i, I enjoy going up and down the stairs in this dress for the feeling of it you know, billowing out <laughs> off topic, but uh, okay, here we go. See, see how these colors just pop. I love these colors so much. Oh, hang on. Hmm. If there is enough, actually, it might be better to do the bodice in this color, and then we have the breakup. I don't know. It's going to be fun. It's is going to be fun. Oh, hang on. I've got the name here. Yeah. So it is ruby star society and this one's called rise it's in the peacock and it's by melody miller so this is the peacock one they also had sold out of the peony one which was like a, a really bright pink colorway which i would have absolutely loved but they only had the peacock and so i took the peacock and unfortunately they only had this left i initially i wanted to order 
six repeats of uh, the fabric, but they only had four, so I just took the four that they had. But I think there's nothing here to make myself a sleeveless something or the other. Oh, how popping is that? It's so beautiful. Uh, so that's that one. And that was from um, Olive and Flow Handicraft. I'll put the links in the description box. Okay, so the next thing, uh, part of my Minerva brand ambassador makes uh, wherein if you're not familiar with the brand ambassador um, it's a sort of like a continuation of the blogger network so i've been a minerva blogger uh, for nearly three three or four years now which is really awesome um because i really like shopping um at minerva and so i applied to join their blogger network and it's now become the brand ambassador and basically anybody can become a brand ambassador in fact i'll put the link below because they are looking for more people um to do the brand ambassador stuff and at the time that i joined the blogger network a lot of other places were doing that sort of thing but what i really liked about the minerva one was you had no obligation you just did what you wanted to do so you only work with the fabrics that you want to work with and i really like that about it and that's why i've stayed for so long with them and that's why i also buy a lot of fabric from there but so these are my next three projects normally i like to do four projects a month um, on the minerva stuff but I just didn't have time. The weather's been so good and I'm splitting my time between gardening and sewing uh, and all. But we do have some lovely fabrics. So first off is this cotton popping fabric. It's pink, right? Oh, it matches my lipstick. Ah, oh, love it, love it. But look at that. So it's a stripe, but it's a pink stripe. And this is a uh, Jackie Studio kabloom um, stripe but look look at this look at the way that this is just a popping uh -huh, uh -huh. <laughs> ah, <love it. gasps> oh my days this is screaming summer isn't it seaside uh-huh okay so i i actually got this because i was like i want i'm gonna make a skirt um out of this just like a, a, a nice uh, pleated skirt. And the idea was that I could wear it with like a white cami top or a black cami top or a pink cami top or a fuchsia cami top. And it should be versatile like that. And I picture it with um, like a black belt or I might give it like a black waistband actually, yeah. So I could do the skirt give it a black waistband and it, I would be able to wear different um, color cami tops with it but it would just basically be like a, a summer 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 uh, skirt but yeah I'm very very happy with this the colors the colors are even better than the pictures on the website I have to say really happy with this so this is a, a cotton poplin I'm not going to use a specific pattern for it I'm just going to I'm going to draft my own pattern for it because I have the drafting skills Oh, if I could get a, look at that, that's not too bad, is that? <laughs> I'm so happy. Okay, and then the other thing is uh, some more uh, summer sewing, which I'm hoping to get. And this is an art gallery uh, fabric. It's a cotton poplin, so it will hold its shape. Perfect for colors, but look at this cornflower blue tile mosaic effect oh i i saw this and i was just like oh my days i have i must me must have me must make dress out of this but i just love that so much tell me this doesn't scream summer tell me it doesn't scream summer but oh look at that and I like the little dots of white in there because I think it does dilute the blueness of the contour. And so when you step away from it, it's more easier. But then when you get up close, <sighs> I love it. I'm so excited to sew into this. Now, truthfully, this one, don't really have a very strong idea of what it's going to be. It will probably be a dress. That would look really nice. Maybe something with a collar because cotton poplin would do really beautiful collars and it would be a shame 
to have the stability and not use a oh my days no i'm gonna use a a contrasting color i think this might work with a white like if i do something and i have a like a white collar that would just add a little mm -mm -mm to it what do you think yeah huh. i think i'm gonna do that i think i may actually do that because i do like how if you look on the selvage how the white selvage actually looks very nice against that and even though the dots in there are not white, when you see them against near the white, it makes them look more white than they actually are. But they're actually quite like, um, like a gray, like a dull gray. So I think it would look, I should look at working with accents of uh, white with it. So there we go. That's the art gallery fabric. Um, what's this one called? This one is called Angles. Yeah, from um mr domestic collection no the designer is mr domestic the collection is called loved to pieces and it's angles a division of art gallery fabrics fantastic okay the next one is actually me planning ahead thinking about the autumn so I had a great experience with some dashwood studio fabrics and in fact this particular fabric I had bought from it was something B or the other and maybe so last no it's not even last year bless me it's probably more than a year ago um, I actually ordered, I bought this uh, Dashwood Studios it was it's a rayon one in fact I think I should go find it and then I'll show it to you but then I found out that they've done it in the knit substrate which is a jersey substrate and this was available I mean never so I was like, oh yeah, I am so onto that. But it's a jersey, right? It's a cotton jersey. And look at the colors. And so this is to make something for the fall. So I won't be sewing with this one straight away. And I'm just gonna make a simple, you know, uh, style bodycon uh, dress with the long sleeve and it can sort of like be my uniform in autumn. And um, I felt very confident that I could go straight into making a dress with this because I've had a really great experience with Dashwood Studio fabrics. This would be my fifth one now from Dashwood Studio and every time the quality has been outstanding. So that is that. So yeah, I also have this in the rayon that I bought two years ago and that I've been just too, a little bit too precious about. So I do need to... <laughs> sort that one out so those are the fabrics that um i have received today now let me see did i order anything else i don't know i think i do have something else that's on route to me so this is possibly not the last one um so in terms of what i'm sewing i'll just show you what's going on in my sewing uh thingy right now because it's so adorable but first my dryer has just pinged so i have to be folding the dryer but i'm going on a i just wanted to sort of like chat very briefly about um the sewing plans that i have so i have until the end of july to basically really just get a ton of all of my uh sewing done and that's because in august we've got um We've got a camping trip to uh, Scotland. We're going to the Isle of Mull, which is absolutely exciting. I'm really looking forward to that. We're going to be there for about six days. And I'm just going to be knackered before and after. And before that, we are also going to go visit a family that we haven't seen um, since before lockdown and stuff. And we're taking our tent so that we can camp um, out in the garden. That's going to be in Essex and that's going to be over a weekend. And I'm going to be knackered after that. So I know that August is going to, I'm not really going to be able to get a lot of sewing done uh, in August. So I'm, I'm desperately keen to finish all of my, to finish all of my summer sewing uh, plans over the next few weeks so i've been super super organized and just getting everything done so that i can have as much time as is possible 
uh, to get the sewing done. But I actually thought it's a good idea for me to uh, take a break from the sewing because I have been pretty much sewing nonstop for quite a while now, which is a really good uh, good thing. I can't say that I've had periods where my sojo has completely uh, deserted me. It's, it's been a really good sewing. It's been really good sewing season. Um, so yeah, so that's me. That's all of this excited energy is because I am so super keen to get uh, as much sewing done as is possible before I just have to be conserving my energy for doing these multiple uh, camping trips, which I love doing, by the way. I love doing and I do share the camping stuff over on my other channel, uh, Hillary at Home. Uh, so yeah, okay, so that's that folded up. Let's go up and I'll show you what I'm working okay. on. Here we are up in the attic. I ran up those stairs, um, but it's, oh, it's so beautiful today. Um, so I finally got cutting into that really uh, beautiful uh, fruits uh, fabric and I'm actually using it to make a dress for my girls. They had a look through the sewing magazines, the kiddie sewing magazine collections that I have and several of the birders that have got like banging kids issues, but they ended up choosing a pattern from Otobri. Otobri is really good actually because um, yeah, the kids really like the patterns from here. And I'm making this dress number 36 Colibri for them. That's the line drawing there. See if I can show you what it actually looks like in here. Honestly, if you do any sewing for kids or anything like that, Otobri is the magazine to get. They, they are so, so good. Their sizing is spot on. And they do a variety, a range of things, and they put a lot of thought into their instructions. It may look different. You might not be used to doing it that way, but once you do it, you'll realize that, huh, actually, this is better. And I do do like that. So I've sewn from this before, actually, uh, several times. Where is that dress? Hang on. Concentrate. I'm always telling my kids, concentrate, don't try to do two things at once. And yeah, here, I, oh, here we go. It's this dress here, which is also the cover dress. Um, yep, so that's the one. And it's got like these cute little bow details here. And that's the one that I'm making. So it's it's got a lined uh, bodice. And for the lining, I'm using the Cupro lining so I've cut it out now and the cutest thing is I'm going to be using these lace uh, zippers these lacy exposed zippers at the back instead of doing a um, exposed back and that's what I'm going to be doing uh, today I have to have the windows open so that I've got a column of uh, a breeze but what happens is on my work table I have to make sure that I weight everything down because when there's a strong breeze, then things just sort of like fly out of the way. But yeah, it's going to be a good day. And this is my bird of July month. How gorgeous is that with the roses on the calendar? And I loved the look of these earrings so much. I'm hunting giant pearl earrings so that I can try and emulate that look. Um, yes, yeah, so this is it. I have to get on with this. I have to uh, post some things on my Minerva page, which if you aren't following me on the Minerva page, I'll put the link in the description box so that you can go check that out. I'm writing up the posts for the two silk blouses and for this dress as well. So I took the pictures on the weekend when I was wearing the dress and I'm just going to edit the pictures so that I can make them a small file size because uh, we use a DSLR camera for taking the pictures and the file sizes are incredibly incredibly huge so I have to make the compress the file size so that you know it's it's, it's a usable size write up the post and then I'll put it up there and once that's done today I will get back into the sewing cave and hopefully I should finish these dresses um, for my daughters because they I just they cannot wait
bit of sewing up in the sewing cape, right? But it is so warm. Look at how sweaty I am getting. That is how warm it is in here. But I am committed to finishing these for my daughters. So coming together, we have um, the bodice is now done for one of them with the lining over here. And the other one is just about to go into the machine. Uh, so I'm doing batch sewing where each step that I'm taking is have to do it twice over so yeah but um i have to go pick them up now because it's nearly three o'clock Hi, it's the 22nd today and I just got some trim that I ordered from AliExpress because I was uh, getting the kids some new water bottles which I buy on AliExpress because uh, they do like these really cute ones. Uh, this one is a duck and this one's a deer. Um, yeah, and so whilst I was ordering, I decided to pick up some trim and it arrived today and it was really very quick actually. Um, Got it in less than two weeks, but it's just really, see if you can get it to focus. It's a really, really adorable trim. Uh, so very light pink and light green. I got, uh, I think it's five meters. And the idea is I want to use it on a dress to sort of like line, uh, sew onto the bodice of the dress. 
uh, we're going to have to see. Uh, so, yeah, this is sort of sewing related and it's sort of, you know, I think it fits into a fabric haul video. <laughs> I don't think I'm expecting anything else today. I'm so excited about the dresses that I made for the girls. They are honestly so, so, so cute and so, so gorgeous. And I'm definitely going to be using that pattern to make more stuff for them. Um, currently, we've just done a big shopping trip, so I have to put uh, stuff away and I have to get a trifle ready because the kids requested trifle for dessert. So I've got the jelly going um, and stuff and hopefully, fingers crossed, fingers crossed, I'll be able to get into the sewing cave and actually get a project going. I'll see you soon. Bye. Good morning, lovely people. It's Saturday, the 31st of July today. It's very unlikely we're going to be getting any more um, fabric, so we're going to call this fabric haul video done. So I'm all made up today because I just did a photo shoot uh, for this dress, the dindle dress from age 2014. Uh, See if I can show it to you. You see that? <laughs> Try that again. There's a lot of kids coming down, just waking up. Getting on here. Uh -huh. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I'm very, very happy. I also made the top uh, to go with it, of which I actually recorded tutorials, uh, sew alongs for both the top and uh, the dress and skirt. So I'm just going to go process the pictures and then post them up on my Minerva page, which if you're not following, uh, do go follow. I put the link in the description box uh, down below. I'm trying to think of anything else. Where's my coffee cup? You press me on coffee cup. Yeah, so I just wanted to say that my uh, Better Song Than Perfect shop is uh, got the latest um, spring and autumn mugs that have got some beautiful floral designs. If you don't like the block capital design, so do go check that out. And I am so excited to see you in the next video, lovely people. Please remember to subscribe and like. And until next time, happy sewing. Bye.